renovation week 15 is here and oh i didn't want to start this video on a negative note but i swear to god i have just had it up to here with this renovation now i'm just everyone's driving me mad everything is really getting on my nerves there is just tradespeople just never do what they say they're gonna do when they do it everyone just takes their sweet time deliveries are all delayed nobody has stock of anything that i need because of brexit and covid and it, like i've still got quite a long list of things i need to buy and every time i think great i can tick this off the list within an hour i get a phone call to say oh i'm really sorry i know it's showing us in stock on our website but actually we're having supplier issues because it's coming from europe or covid or whatever and we haven't got it in stock because i've got to do the whole shopping around process all over again and it's just driving me mad i mean this morning for instance we needed to get some plywood to lay on our floors before the floor fitter comes in and today's thursday the guy's coming on monday we don't have very many days to get this plywood and fit it before he comes in on monday morning and nowhere had it in stock the builder was running around to places we were calling places literally from 6 30 in the morning till 9 a.m we were on the phone to wix selco and the people that had it in stock the price had increased overnight by like three pound fifty a square meter which when you need to buy about 70 square meters that's a lot of money and so it's like over 150 quid difference and so it's just annoying me the kitchen fitter was meant to start on monday he pushed it back to tuesday then wednesday it was meant to start today he messaged me a couple of days ago to say he's done his back in and who knows when he'll be ready to work again so oh we had to move the whole kitchen delivery i say it like i did it our builders actually did it which is great very grateful for that although we're still paying for their time <laughs> at this point but they moved it all into the living room because now the floor is being fitted first and so obviously the flooring guy needs to come in and not have kitchen units boxed up um so hopefully he stays true to his word and he comes in next monday but there's just been nothing going on at the house i mean i've been there every day to be honest i'm so sick of driving back and forth to the house every day sometimes twice a day it's like an hour of my day just going there and just coming home not the time i spend there and i'm just sick of it i've just had it i mean i didn't mean to start this video on a negative note but this is literally how i feel i also wasn't going to vlog this week but i thought you know what we've done 14 weeks i can kind of see the finish line sort of and i just need to keep going you know but this is hashtag reno reality sick of it i'm sick of living in a flat full of boxes there's more boxes out of shot look at my um desk my dining table it's just full of receipts and paperwork and just stuff i need to sort out and it's just it's all getting to me a bit this week um so yeah haven't really started this video on a very cheery note there's really not much to show you um we had our flooring delivery this morning. I did go to the house, but it was delayed again. We've got the underlay coming tomorrow. So I think I need to be there for that because the builders aren't in tomorrow. It's just, it's just one of those weeks, you know? But when I next go to the house, I'm gonna vlog because I think the builders have painted a wall that isn't going to be white. And so that will be something different to show you. I don't know. I mean, I can show you the painting they've done on camera, but to be honest, it's all just white at the moment. And all they do is paint, sand, fill, paint, sand, fill, like on repeat. And so there's just not much I can show you. But anyway, that is where we're at this week. I'm gonna go and call the kitchen fitter and hopefully he answers my phone because he's a very annoying man that never answers his phone. And we'll take it from there. Okay, so these are the doors that have been dipped and stripped. They've covered them up for now, but look at this. Literally all of the paint came off and the builder and I were so impressed when the guy dropped them back. There's tiny little bits just in the little nooks and crannies, but that's fine because obviously, so I'm trying to do this with one hand. 
which is fine because obviously these doors need to be filled and sanded anyway. There's still quite a lot of work to do on the doors, but really happy with the way that they've turned out so far. I obviously don't like this natural sort of pattern in the wood, so they're definitely going to be painted. I was deliberating sort of keeping them natural if they were going to be plain like this but unfortunately they're not and this is just some like really weird like leopard print type stuff going on and all the doors are like this so yeah definitely not keeping them like this but I'm just gonna sort of put this plastic around just to protect them and uh, yeah it looks really cool 7.30 a.m. on Saturday feeling a little bit better about life but Justin and I've just got to the house he is spending another day working at the house with the builders we ordered some plywood this is one thing that we struggled to get last week everywhere just doesn't really have a supply of it and it was really hard to find like quite a basic material but we need to basically use this on the wooden part of the floor so everything but the extension just to sort of level it out and make sure it's all one height so I think Jas and the builders are going to be sort of cutting this today and putting it all over the house our main builder is actually going to be late this morning so we've got here early to let another guy in <gasps> is that my egg blue? oh my god I love it hold on hold on hold on the patches are actually obviously, the white patches are there for sanding things down just in case any bumps. It looks amazing, right? It looks really good, yeah. Obviously the top needs to be, um, uh, the, the they need to the mask top, it up. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Guys, look at this. Oh my God, I love this colour so much. So, how do I best explain this? <laughs> Obviously, they need to sand and fill and do all the rest of the stuff to this bit before it's finally painted. It's obviously not meant to look like this, but I'm obsessed with this colour. Do you like it? Yeah, uh, So, so nice. So, this is what we're calling our back living room. I don't know what the official term for this room would be, but I decided to paint... The three walls in here, because obviously it's open plan. That's just hey, one coat blue. Well, that, is it just that, one coat? I think it's just one coat. So like they they coat it, mm. and that's why they want to sand that down to actually. But I mean, not to do though, because uh, hold these, on. These white patches means that they all need evening out. I'm just hoping I've got enough paint left to put in. Well, I actually bought three tins of this, and he was saying to me we might need three tins. So that means I'm going to have to buy an extra tin for each bedroom. Just for this room, three tins. Well, because I actually. I accidentally bought three. No, wait a minute. We're not going down this little room. We're not, we're not, no, no, we're not doing the ceiling. We deliberated over it for ages because we, I did want to do the ceiling, but then we were like, well, how do we stop? Because it's not a square room. And one of my friends suggested like a restatement diagonal line up until the um, steel beam, but I wasn't feeling that. So anyway, um, the reason I wanted this Hague blue is because our kitchen units are all navy and they're all gonna go in an L shape around there. So it just kind of ties it all in. And I absolutely love this color, don't you? Mm. It's going to be like really it's nice not, and cosy it's in here. It's really well. You can tell the difference like this, this paint. It's not flat. Compared to this like Dulux. But yeah, but that's the thing with Farrow and Ball. Like, I'm just, it creates an atmosphere as opposed to just a flat paint colour. It's, it's like it's hard to explain that with a texture on it. It's like... It's kind of like... You've got to be able to see it on the camera, but it's like... It is no, but I can see it in person. It's kind of like a... It's very chalky, isn't it? But that's the thing about Farrow and Ball. We didn't go for the super matte one, which is called Modern Emulsion, Estate Emulsion. We went for Modern Emulsion, which is 7% sheen as opposed to 2%, because with 2%, it's very, very matte. It looks amazing. That's like their signature sort of finish, but you shouldn't have it in high traffic areas. In fact, you should only really have it in adult bedroom where nobody will touch the walls, but in a kitchen area, I imagine people will be touching the walls and the 2% one can get easily scuffed. But oh my God, I'm so obsessed. I love it so much. It's a bit worrying. It appears like they've used maybe two tins already. I honestly thought we'd need less in this room compared to the bedrooms so I accidentally bought three tins for in here and only two 
per bedroom upstairs. So I'm gonna have to buy like maybe two more tins per bedroom. <laughs> so maybe like six more tins of Farrow and Bourne. This is where it gets very expensive, but I really, really like this color. I'm so happy with it. I think I might have mentioned the other day, I'm not sure if I did, but our kitchen fitter was supposed to be coming this week. He's done his back in. I'm struggling to find somebody else. This is all just getting very, very delayed, which is kind of super annoying. So the builders have had to move the whole kitchen delivery, which was in the back living room, to this front living room. I was gonna show you, but there's plies in the way, so we can't get in there. And oh, there's just so much stuff everywhere. I'm just so done with the renovation at this point. I'm just sick of it. I just want everyone to just click their fingers, get everything done, get out of my house, someone to also clean it and I can just move in because I just cannot cope with this and this place is just full of so much shit. There's so much stuff all over the place and it's just... <sighs> Let's just have a look. Is that one empty? Empty. Oh no, don't, please don't say that one's empty. Call it empty, yeah. <gasps> this one's empty. How much more fur and ball am I supposed to buy? Are you meant to buy another one of these? I've got one more. You want to check? He can't need, f you can't need four for this room. That means he need like five per bedroom. I don't know if we're doing it, you know. So our flooring arrived a couple of days ago and the builders thankfully brought it all in for me because there was no way I'd be able to do this on my own. It was curbside delivery. I did have my uncle on standby because I didn't think the builders were gonna be in and I was like, how on earth am I gonna do this? But the builder sent me a photo because this pack is actually damaged and the company that we bought it from, Direct Wood Flooring, which is also a flooring superstore. They have two websites, they're really good. They said that they will come and collect the damaged packs and replace them at the same time. So that's really good and um, we're just waiting for the guy now, aren't we? You're the flooring, right? Just come upstairs for a quick look. Our vanity unit's in. Is this the marble top that's also on? Oh yeah, it looks really good, okay. The toilet I think you would have seen last time is in. Oh look. Okay, this is my Ikea shelf. I'm glad it isn't secured because I want to ask them to make it flush with this just so that it doesn't make a feature of it. <laughs> and um, this is the towel rad. God knows how we'll ever use it for towels because it's very narrow. And tiles, which you will have seen. This, this all pretty much looks the same. They're making a little bit of progress here, which is good. And this is the vanity unit. Oh, I really like this one actually. And obviously there'll be like a mirror situation there. It's a little bit annoying because the portal must have gone yesterday. It's no longer here, which means they're officially using our toilets. And we all know how I feel about sharing toilets with builders. They're just, oof. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get a professional clean before we move in. <sighs> I mean, they're definitely starting to clear this room up a little bit now that all the bathroom furniture is in and I think the Tyler came yesterday yep to collect his stuff that was in this room which is good that belongs to our neighbour that paint which he still hasn't taken and oh the <laughs> this is my shower screen there was a bit of an issue with this so the builders wanted to install the shower screen yesterday and as they brought it upstairs and opened it up they sent me a message to say there's loads of parts missing. I contacted the company very aware that I'd placed this order on the 24th of April so it's been sat here for ages and I was like are they going to do anything? It's like the 2nd of July and um, it turns out I hadn't ordered like a profile pack that basically goes with the shower screen. It's the bit that attaches it to the wall and the screws and all these other little bits and pieces. So then I was like, well, that's fine. I can order it. But the only downside is it was out of stock on their website until the end of August. I spent about four hours calling every supplier and stockist for this brand because they can't take the shower screen back because I've had it since April and I can't get hold of the right parts and it has to be the specific parts that go with that glass screen. I call, Jess, is that you? Yeah. Okay. 
I called everyone in London and I finally found a guy who can get it in on the 19th of July at the earliest. I've kind of paid him over the phone. He still hasn't sent me an email receipt, but I just have to trust that he can. I mean, this is the problem when builders tell you to order stuff, it just sits in the house for ages. And even if I was to open it and check that bits are there, I mean, yes, I can check I've got the right amount of tiles or I can check that the tap is in the packaging, but I don't know about how to fit shower screens and making sure that all the relevant bits are in there. And they obviously hadn't told me, so I was just really annoyed and it just further delays things, you know? <laughs> Apparently the whole brand, like the whole company are having issues with their suppliers and so stockists can't get hold of this stuff. And it's all just a nightmare, isn't it? Like these things always happen, but it's definitely more so at the moment because of Brexit and because of COVID and we're just having a lot of these problems. I mean, everything just keeps going up in price and it's just, it's just a pain in the ass. But I think even if these bits don't arrive, me and Just potentially could still move in and shower we just have, would have to be very careful potentially we would still be able to move in but just be very careful when we shower so the water doesn't all spill out it's not ideal but i don't know i just don't know like Monday morning. We're actually on week 16, but I thought I would just continue this vlog because last week was not the one. I'm standing sideways because there's literally nowhere for me to stand here, but this entire room is full of boxes. It is just, okay, it's almost 8.30 in the morning. I left the house at 7.30 today to come and meet the floor fitter. I haven't given him a set of keys and he sort of said he'd be here sometime between 8 and 8.30 but I messaged to say I was running late. He said he was running late so I think I'm expecting him in about 10 minutes or so. My builder's actually been round this morning and he's quite good because he called me and he was like I've just been to the house to pick up some tools and there's no one there by the way has your flooring guy turned up. I was like don't worry I'm meeting him there. Hopefully he will. I texted him yesterday to confirm but you know what these trades people are like. I think this guy is fine. It's just kitchen fitters I'm having an issue with. Complete nightmare because our entire kitchen is in this living room. I mean, there's literally nowhere for me to stand. This is the underlay for the flooring. So those little bits will be gone, but there's just so much stuff everywhere and it's very overwhelming. There's also like light fittings, curtain poles, coat hooks, mirror for the downstairs loo <sighs> just loads of things so we're having a lot of issues trying to find let me just prop you back up so we're having a lot of issues trying to find a kitchen fitter there was a guy he let me down he just keeps kind of messaging me saying i'm really sorry i'm really sorry and i'm like what does that mean are you still coming like when just give me a date like i know you've done your back in and i sympathize but also it's kind of not my problem like can you just hurry up and get the job done <laughs> if you can just give me like a rough time estimate i mean at first i kind of felt a bit sorry for him because i mean what do you do when you're self-employed and you do your back in and you need your back to do your job as in you do a physical job there's nothing you can do about that but he oh, he's just a bit annoying he's just he doesn't ever answer his phone when he messages can't understand his messages there's no like punctuation no full stops there's no there's just a whole long waffly paragraph that takes me about four minutes to read and understand and he kind of forwarded me a message that was meant to be for his next customer after me he told me he, this was what he sent to the next guy but the next guy is not only getting his kitchen fitted they're also doing other building works he said he's going to start on his building work now and i'm like well if you've done your back in how are you Oh, I don't know. And then my builder said to me, 
yeah maybe he has actually done his backing which is fair enough but then obviously he's not earning any money because he can't work and so he's going to prioritize the jobs where he's probably getting more money for less work and I was like I hadn't thought about that so oh, I just don't know I've contacted three others I literally have to harass them calling them texting them every day to be like hi have you got a price for me what's your date have you had a chance to check your diary and they just don't get back to you <clears throat> anyway i'm starting this week on a positive because hopefully my flooring will be fitted in the next couple of days then it's the kitchen to worry about <coughs> then it's the carpet but let me just show you what happened yesterday oh it's so dusty in this house anyway we have fitted ply onto the floor basically everywhere we're going to do it everywhere anyway but especially where the laminate flooring is going we opted for laminate because it's just a lot more cost effective and the builders were fitting this yesterday they've kind of cleaned up a little bit because the flooring guy needs everything to be as level as possible so last week or the week before they put this self-leveling compound onto the original extension floor that was really interesting to watch i think that was two weeks ago actually and then obviously they just did it on the concrete bits not where the original floorboards were because it would just fall through the gaps and what is the point so they've kind of put ply that is roughly sort of the same um thickness the flooring guy will have to sort something around the edges because it's not perfect but i mean we're paying him a lot of money so that's kind of his job i guess i just really hope he does it i'm going to speak to him today to make sure that he does just to make sure that the floor isn't bouncy once we once it's all done and we have to walk on it and stuff like that so yeah that's what the ply is basically for i opened up some of the packs of wood just to get them to acclimatize because this is kind of where they're going i haven't opened them all up there were some here that jas and i did yesterday but i don't know if i've got too much and also i didn't want the builders to put like wet paint rollers or anything dirty on it and actually damage my floor because there's holes in there so yeah and this is kind of my only worry i guess the guy is going to be starting the laminate from in there so he gets the pattern right before he brings it all the way through and basically that's what's happening today attempt to open this patio because it's very stiff i can't actually do it myself that was like the easiest thing ever <laughs> okay i need to get some air in this house yesterday when we came to the house the builders were putting the silicon um around the toilet and all the places that silicon needs to go in the bathroom and oh my god that stuff stinks it is so so bad i was like what is the smell and he was like oh it's silicon and i was like does it always smell this bad like i literally could not breathe i was like oh this is awful um the other thing is when will i learn not to wear nice ish clothes in this house because it is just so dusty everywhere i think i showed you my hay blue a couple of days ago and i'm just i'm so glad i did it i'm just so so glad i absolutely love the color yes it's dark but who cares that's not the end of the world i was telling my builder as well that we've taken such a gamble with paint colors i haven't bought testers for anything because testers are extortionate what the hell's happened here uh can you see it that bit needs to be anyway testers are so expensive and it is such a waste of money i've googled hague blue a million and one times i've seen it on instagram on pinterest and i just sort of knew what the color would look like and there's a few colors we've chosen for upstairs that um i haven't googled but you know what i think when you get towards the end of a renovation you're just like I just don't care you just don't care about the little things anymore you just want to get things moving and move in so probably wouldn't recommend what we've done but that's what we've done i just love oh my god i'm so obsessed with this color and do you know what honestly i can really see the difference between farrow and ball and like dulux like everyone keeps saying to me i can really see the difference it's just not a completely flat color it has like some real depth to it and it like looks different in different lights in the evening when we came it looks slightly different the light does bounce off it and i'm just oh it's just such a beautiful color i'm completely 
obsessed. Anyway, I'm gonna try and film the flooring guy when he comes because he also has a YouTube channel actually and he was telling me all about it. And just told him I do YouTube, like he basically tells every single person you've come into contact with. Um, so yeah, hopefully he won't mind. I don't see why he would. I think he might be here. Update, the flooring is not happening today. <laughs> oh God. The um, floor wasn't level enough for the floor fitters if that makes any kind of sense. But I spoke to my builder, he's really good actually. He's gonna come back later today to try and just fix it. It's not his fault. He thought the floor fitters would do it and the floor fitters like were like, we normally would level it out with a bit of cardboard or something, it's just a tiny little bit. But that only works if it's like normal planks of laminate or wood, not herringbone. And the herringbone we've bought is quite cheap. It's like eight mil thick, which isn't like the thickest, so. He has a point. They all have a point. It's not really anyone's fault, but it just means that I now have to book in with this floor fitter and he was showing me his diary on his phone and he is basically fully booked all month. So he's gonna try and move some jobs around, I think. But um, I'm glad that my builder said he's gonna come back um, at maybe four or five o'clock this afternoon, evening, and for me to meet him there just to show him what the bits are that need doing and he was like even if it takes me an hour or two this evening i'll do it which is really good of him so nothing ever goes without any problems really does it there's always something that happens what's that on my back seat i don't even know um also the underlay that we've bought is not the right one it was meant to be three mil but the company didn't have that in stock so they sent five mil and we thought that's great they've upgraded us for the same price turns out that's not great because it's too thick and the floor will be spongy so that's minor we and jas can just like i can just go and pick that up from screw fix the right one or wherever that's not the issue it's leveling out the floor because even if my builder does it today i'm not sure that it will dry by tomorrow i don't know i don't know <sighs> problems eh? but I've now come to Sainsbury's I'm gonna pick up some food for lunch because it is like 10 a.m. or something um, and go home and just see what happens it's turning out to be another one of those weeks but I'm determined not to let it get to me I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's go home and do some work and just make my phone calls phone kitchen people blah 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 and I will catch up with you guys in a bit it is like quarter to eight. We've been here for about 40 minutes or so. And we've got all the fibre boards for the underlay, the correct stuff. We picked this lot up on Facebook Marketplace because someone had extras that they were giving away for free. This lot up on eBay. Just going through the builder's tools because he's not here today, so another guy. But we need to screw down. See these squeaky bits of the ply because the um, flooring dude's going to be here in about, I don't know, like 15 minutes, 45 minutes, who knows. Today they're going to use um, the concrete and some sharp sand to basically screed this bit to make it all flush and the flooring guy is going to basically start in the hallway. He said he's going to work all the way out. And then to the side, and this is like quick dry stuff, so that will be dry in two hours and hopefully, you know, before he needs to do whatever he needs to do. I'm going to go screw fix to pick up some damp proof membrane for this bit, um, just to keep the moisture out because it's a concrete floor. And I need to actually put this away in two hands. This is the old underlay. <laughs> Shall I um, ask them to do a refund on this, Jas? What? On eBay. You can, they want to take refunds, because I was in 500 days uh, retail policy, yeah. Yeah, that's good, because I'm, I'm oh, going to do that then. Good news, the guy that we were waiting for has arrived. He said he's just on the phone to his wife. Um, you did yeah. it by hand? Yeah. So the builder doesn't leave any power tools in the house. Um, they haven't been here all week anyway. But Jas is now screwing down bits of this ply by hand, because um, we didn't bring any tools. Our car was just full of stuff. And yeah, we just need to like sort of fix these squeaky bits. Mm. It's not gonna squeak now that I'm on camera. I'm so tired today, my eyes, like I just couldn't even get contacts in my eyes. That's how tired I am. I'm going back and forth trying to make this squeak. Why, where was it? Okay, I don't know. We just can't figure it out. Still quite squeaky. Um, I reckon it's because the wood sort of expanded once after it's been here. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the guy will know. I'm not sure that the flooring photo will really help with that. You don't care. Mm. 
think it made a little bit of difference. Or not? It's just here, isn't it? Yeah, that like edge bit, isn't it? It's because I think they, the edges are hitting each other, I think. That's what I think, because it's then, Oh, where was that now? <laughs> This is right here. Uh, it definitely is because it's too close. <coughs> there was definitely one here the other day as well. Jay, have you fixed it actually, maybe? Because it was this bit that wasn't screwed down. That wasn't screwed down, I just screwed it now. But it's quite clever though, because yeah. like, I, thought, I thought you would have started with two full planks, but it's not. Because uh -huh. I cut at this the beginning, right? Oh, I see. And then this. Yeah, it's cool with the like a proper triangle. Here's the start of it. <laughs> Something like this, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk in, this is the design. The deep here underneath the concrete, the fiberboard, the fiberboard. to do a final reveal of the floor i've literally just got home it's half past eight and the floor fitter basically finished at 7 30 because he wanted to just try and get it all done in one day which it is now done it looks incredible we both love it they left a lot of mess behind so me and jess were just sort of tidying that up and now i'm just cooking sushi like a sushi bowl for dinner not actual sushi that's far too much effort and um <clears throat> I know I haven't done a final reveal of the floor, but I'm just going to wait because it's now covered in cardboard to protect it. But I thought I'd just end this video here because there's not much else that's exciting that's happening this weekend. It's just more sanding and filling of the doors, which nobody really wants to see. So yeah, I thought now would be a good time for me to end this super long video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with renovation week 17, I think. Hopefully, I don't want to speak too soon. I hope the kitchen is being fitted next week. So I'll see you then. Bye.